Love. Starbucks in actually the Empire State Building. I'm gonna meet my good friend Rachel, who her and I have worked on a couple of different brand projects together. So should be fun. We just came out of an amazing lunch with my good friend Rachel. We talked all sorts of things business, branding, what she's up to, you know, just reconnecting. And that's the beauty of coming to New York. I know it's like quite a long trek, but it's not just about social media and email and phones. It's actually sitting across from each other, having lunch and that human connection, which makes it that much more worthwhile to make the trip. And of course, I get to spend time with my amazing publicist and good friend, business manager, Robin Stevens, who's always on the phone because she's got so much to do. And she's just planning for us all the time. Um, so it's a lot of fun. So now that we're done with the Empire State Building visit, we are now going to see my friend Mike Chen and have a really fun meal. Love. sauce sesame paste this is a really ancient recipe like this is what like people back in ancient times used that's it the for og days. huh Hapa, if i could have one meal for the rest of my life it'd be hapa because you could like you could diversify yeah you could do whatever you want it's a diversified food <laughs> so what's your favorite american like food that's not chinese well you know what you like italian stuff. mexican I, anything like that i, I love all food I mean, I feel like food in itself is it's such a wonderful, you know, it, it's, it's a pursuit, I feel like, in people's lives, having good food. And, and every culture has their signature items that are right. just delicious. This is really yummy. I love steak. I love, I love steak. steak. You like steak? Yeah, I like steak. Oh, man, steak is one of my favorite things. It is one of mine, too. Right? And I thought I was one of those weird people who still likes steak and no one else. I like oh, steak. Oh, steak is wonderful. Me, too. I love steak, too. Yeah? Okay, but most people have given up beef, don't like steak. No, my husband's a Texan, you know. We oh, appreciate yeah, sure. We okay, appreciate steak. Ready? Put these on your plate. What's this This thing? That's a fish, fish ball. ball. No, no, it's, no it's, it's um ground fish. Yeah. Okay. So it's not okay. like not a ball That's fish. Not done yet. Oh, okay. It's yeah. just what it is. Let that cook for a while. It, it's, there's meat on the inside. All right, Mike, you can take out the vegetables. Yeah, you can take out the vegetables. And um, I'm gonna get rid of my little scoop of meat because it's just not safe. I, I love to just go for the meat first. And then you dip it here. What's the point? Yeah. Of it? So mix okay. that up really well with your chopsticks. Give it a nice yeah, this is too hard, so who wants noodle? You want noodle, I'm sure. Yeah, it's kind of adventurous for some people. Oh yeah, it's good. Try. Love try stuff. So. You like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so what do you put in yours at home? Do you get the transit? So I have all this, you know, with the pork and the beef and the chicken. But we do um, we do two, two or three types of mushrooms. Because my family, we really love mushrooms. And then we do two types of tofu. And then, and then sometimes we don't use the noodles, but we'll use like rice noodles, which are really good too. Yep. And we do a lot of greens, like green onion, vegetable, because I grow so much in my backyard. Tomatoes are good. Yeah, tomatoes are good too. We do shrimp too. Sometimes we'll put shrimp in or fish, whatever. We do a lot of seafood too. My question though, because the light bulb burned out when I asked the last time. How did you get started doing YouTube? Okay, well. Oh, I want to hear this too. Uh, three, four years ago, me and my friends, uh, we got together. And we realized like traditional Chinese culture like so many beautiful stories, but no one's really telling it. And there's so many myths and legends and historical accounts that people like in the West they don't really know much about. Like, great, we know Mulan, the false version of Mulan. You know that's right. Okay, Mulan did not have a pet dragon. Okay, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't think I don't think she did. But and she didn't join the army to find a boyfriend. You know, right. join the army. You know, that's, that's the entire point of the story in Chinese culture was that. Her devotion to her father, father mm -hmm. was the reason she joined the army, not because she wanted to date a guy. Mm -hmm. But you know, so let's see what the live, uh, live, live action movie we'll, we'll do in the next year. But right, exactly, that's gonna be interesting. But yeah. So we we wanted to do all these cultural stuff, and um, so we created a channel called Off the Wall a long, long time ago. 
that was where I first started watching oh, you. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we did a ton of stuff about Chinese culture, differences between these. You were the best of the show. Well, thank you. And that's why I said he was kind of like, remember that I said he was like Beyonce, right? With the band and then he became Beyonce. <laughs> that was my analogy explaining you to them. <laughs> yeah, I had a... Is that how you describe yourself to people? What do you feel like Beyonce? Remember what you No, I've described food as Beyonce before though. Okay. Because I'm like, yeah, this food is, this is Beyonce. Off the charts, uh, but go on. Yeah, so we started doing a lot of cultural shows and it just kind of uh, took off. Gotcha. Um, are you still living in China? No, I was here. Oh, okay. That's I was right. in New York. Okay. And then, How old uh, were you when you moved here? I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. Then I went back for a couple years for school. Then I came back here. Okay. And then we did that channel. And then one day I was in Las Vegas, you know, food capital of America almost. Buffet capital of America. <laughs> and I was eating buffet one morning. I'm, like, I'm just going to film myself eating a buffet and see what happens. And then that took off. And then I'm like, wow, people like to see me eat. How strange. But how marvelous <laughs> at the same time. And uh, so after that, it just became just do more food videos and people really liked it. And next thing I know, like, that's what I do now. I, I do food videos, I do travel stuff, and I can do other stuff. I have like news channels, I have, you know, knowledge channels, and just kind of branching out. Because there's a lot of stuff I love. Um, and I figured I'd just make a channel for everything I love. But I, I do have family still in China, but I have more family in, in Taiwan, obviously, you know. Did you grow up, were well, you born in Taiwan or here? I'm ABC. ABC. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot more ABCs in the West Coast than here. Like here is more like first generation, mm -hmm. but the West Coast is more like second generation now, even third generation. My mom founded the one of the first Chinese schools in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's why I can, I'm fluent. And I can read and write, but nice. so like uh, we have a whole bunch of friends, and my mom did it as a nonprofit. She never got paid anything, That's great. but she got sick of me coming home and speaking only English. Yeah. So I'm very grateful now because although I was born and raised, but like I have a few clients, not a lot of clients that are Chinese, but my Chinese clients are some of my biggest clients, and they speak to me all in Chinese. Yeah. So it's pretty. It's, but I love it because I'm proud of it because I teach my kids Chinese now. Like at home, I, I tell them you have to speak Chinese, you know? And that's my little effort to kind of continue because I'm really proud of being that's Chinese. That's what you, you should know? be doing. I mean, that's fantastic. Zuckerberg does it, so. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really important because that's the next, I mean, China is on the world stage in a big way right now. And, and me growing up, when I was growing up, I remember people would say, oh, well, you're Taiwanese. And my dad would say, no, we're Chinese. Don't segregate us. We're all the same. So I remember that even to this day. So people were like, oh, but you're really Taiwanese. When I was really, my dad always said, no, Chinese is Chinese. We speak one language, one people, you know.